don't hear a word. Not a word. So give me your promise. What, sir? Promise to myself to link myself to some mass of ugliness? Just allow myself to... Soon, sir, the lady shall be as ugly as I choose. <laughs> but she's <laughs> with a hump on each shoulder. But she shall be as crooked as a crescent. But she shall have skin like a mummy and the beard of a bug. She shall be all this, sir. Yet I will make you ogle her all day and sit up all night writing sonnets to her beauty. <laughs> Nay, sir, upon my word. I will give you two and a half seconds to consider this. If you then agree without any condition to do everything on earth that I choose, why, confound you, I'm made in time for you. If you do not, don't agree to marry good Mrs. Malaprop's niece, a woman who brings no small fortune with her. Don't enter the same hemisphere with me. Don't dare breathe the same air. Or you Mrs. Malaprop's niece. Say Mrs. Malaprop's knees. <laughs> Sir, I acknowledge my error and submit entirely to your will. What's that? <laughs> I have been revolving and reflecting and considering your past goodness and kindness and your condescension to me 